This is every single modern soldier I own in Lego. Nice. We have Brick Tactical, Brick Forge, Battle Brick, Brick Mania, tons and tons of custom minifigures from all of them. It's taken me years to accrue this collection, and we're going to be checking them all out in today's video. And obviously, we have many from multiple different countries. So hit the like button, subscribe, and comment down below. And be sure to stay till the end for an epic giveaway. Now let's get into this thing. So firstly, we're going to be starting off with some of our more generic minifigures. This here is a Brick Mania custom US Army soldier very very detailed really nice custom helmet I have never seen before but brick mania is way too expensive we're talking like 40 bucks a fig sometimes Damn! They might be the goats with the designs, but not with the wallet-friendly pricing at all. So you can go with something a little cheaper and still really nice looking like Battle Brick right here. Obviously just standard army fatigues for this guy, but there will be a lot more Battle Brick to come with some more elaborate stuff. But in general, they do have slightly lesser quality than Brick Mania, but we're talking like a $40 minifigure versus like a... $12 minifigure. There's a nice middle ground with BrickTactical.com where you get an extraordinarily quality minifigure. I would argue it is maybe Brick Mania quality, but these ones are like $20 to $25 a pop, so much more wallet friendly. And funnily enough, I do have a standard Lego minifigure in this lot as well. This is just a Coast Guard Lego minifigure, but the Coast Guard is still a military division of the American military. And yes, they normally have a yellow face. I just replaced it with a skin tone face. And I think it works really nicely. So you can put this guy on a boat and have him sail away. That's got to be the best part I've ever seen. There are also some fairly interesting customs in here, just in terms of armor. So this is actually just a regular minifigure underneath all of this blast protection armor. However, obviously the blast protection armor is on top of the minifigure, kind of turning it into its own minifigure. Uh, and that is a brick tactical mask underneath the helmet there but these guys look really nice uh, they don't do uh, you know the best work in terms of mobility and they're they're very clunky but they look really cool so it's kind of excused but then I've got other countries minifigures as well this in particular is a battle brick Ukrainian soldier right here and I'm hoping to get the brick tactical variant which is a much nicer looking one this one's fairly simple I don't love this variant too much uh, I want something a little bit more detailed but still this one's pretty cool I do like the custom vest on him right there and yes we do have a few of uh, the boys that invaded them we have a Russian soldier right here I don't really know what that reads but he's got the russian flag right there he's got a very nice riot shield helmet which just looks sick whoa, whoa, whoa. we've also got us germans here the winner schnitzel and the oktoberfest this is a ksk unit obviously decent detailing another battle brick right here again their detailing along the arms just isn't quite up to par with something like brick mania which does detail all of the arms and the side torso but at a glance these guys look fantastic but then we We've also got the British soldiers. This is an SAS soldier who does have a communications pack on his back, which is removable. It's just really hard to remove. This is Battle Brick again. The SAS look pretty fire with these. We've also got another British soldier, uh, sort of. It's from Rainbow Six Siege. It's mute. So you can go ahead and place down your mute jammers and prevent the enemy from finding the bomb. Yeah, I, I really like these Brick Tactical Rainbow Six Siege operators. I hope to get some more in the future, but for now, I only have mute here. Speaking of operators, the CIA has joined the chat here. This is a battle brick. This headset's on wrong. There we go. CIA operator. I don't love how they did this. They made him CIA by basically putting on a mask and then giving him a vest that says CIA. That's how a lot of battle brick minifigures work. They just slap a vest on them that says what they are. Like this dude, special forces. Uh, yeah, it's it's not, it's not the cr most creative way of representing who they are. Oh, also the double face on this does not look good with the beret, I must say. Oh, hell no. CCT trooper right here, which I believe means like combat communications troop or something. Oh, God, it's something communications. I can't remember exactly. Let me know if you guys know. Uh, but these guys look really nice. The night vision goggles are on backwards. Um, she does have her walkie talkie 
in the old back pocket, in the old booty hole right there. Or there's the PJ unit right here who has <laughs> Thor's face. I just thought it was such a good looking face for a military unit. I also love the NVGs on this guy. Oh no, did they break? <gasps> oh no, they just fell off. Okay, good. That would have been tragic. Yeah, these guys look really nice. Again, another communications backpack. This one black. That's enough messing around with Battle Brick for now, I'd say. Let's look at some more high quality ones from Brick Mania. This is just your standard US Army soldier from either Desert Storm, Desert Shield, or the second Gulf War, I suppose. But obviously just desert camo. Looks really, really nice. This is one of the cheaper Brick Mania minifigures that usually only runs you like $30. Yeah, their pricing is absolutely up. Scene. And again, I'm gonna show you pretty much an equal quality minifigure from Brick Tactical that will run you $20 to $25, which is way less, obviously. An FS-17 soldier right here just looks so good. And if you really want to cheap out, you can purchase fakes. I know, the cursed word in the LEGO community. Uh, this is a fake US Army soldier right here. I purchased these guys off of eBay. I don't believe they're for sale on AliExpress anymore, but they do come back every once in a while, so just depends if the Chinese factory is printing them at the moment or not. I did notice they had some PLA units for sale, and I, I snagged some of those, but they haven't arrived yet. But either way, this US Army soldier looks absolutely fantastic. Honestly, it's such a detailed and nice fake. I don't even think you can tell. And if you put him next to the Brick Mania figure, I mean, definitely Brick Mania is still better, but <laughs> it's pretty close. It is pretty close. I do have a few different variants of these guys, and this one here has a pretty cool respirator on him right there. That, that's pretty neat. Those guys, only a dollar. I did buy them on eBay, so they were like $2 a piece because they upcharge, but they weren't available on AliExpress at the time. Then we've got a really cheap end of the Battle Brick spectrum where it's just kind of like a standard army soldier with armor and then just like tan on them. No actual markings. Uh, this is just a $10 trooper, which honestly it looks really nice for like high quality custom. Not having to pay too much for a for a custom trooper is pretty nice sometimes. And I've got another generic variant here with just a little bit different armor to them. You've also got your gray version here, which you can use for like spec ops, or I sometimes use them for private security or like militant mercenary forces, stuff like that. And we've got other mercenary forces. We've got Harry Potter here, which I just ran out of skin tone faces because these most of these were originally yellow faces, but I think for military uh, units, it looks better to have skin tone um, and again, just sort of of another generic security force you can use here or this guy here with the gas mask which looks really nice <laughs> Boy. a very generic one and you can see that you can utilize the uh, rebel hoth trooper helmets if you really want on military units i dropped them but this guy's extra basic because he only has a pot helmet <laughs> speaking of other basic boys these are troopers that i just hodgepodge together a bunch of armor and stuff from different customs i think maybe that's a brick forge vest i want to say a brick tactical belt and then i think that's a minifix.com helmet i can't remember man some of this i bought a long time ago also got a pretty cool just sort of mercenary unit here with a gas mask and uh, a united nations helmeted unit right here which i really want to build up my un forces and honestly what you can do for the un is just give them un helmets because most of the time on the field un soldiers just have the un helmets and not much else un designed armor it's usually the armor of their country that they're wearing i have another really nice detailed brick mania trooper here i lost the original face for it so it's just an indiana jones face but this is a u.s marine here again brick mania so expensive but really detailed. I also have a couple more generic battle brick troopers here, which yeah, these guys look very nice in their regular army fatigues. This is the most detailed battle brick usually gets. And I, I really like battle brick. I'm just saying there are levels to this. I've always thought this trooper here was a bit more like Soviet oriented. I'm not entirely sure if that's true, but the gear just looks more Soviet to me. Same with this guy here, or or maybe like a pilot. Yeah, this, this guy could be a pilot. He's got the very cool like jaw armor with the paint on it. That's just sick. I believe that jaw is from Sidan Toys. Now I've got two here that actually come as a bit of a pair, and I was giving these away, but no one claimed the giveaway prize after three different winners were called. We've got a US Heavy Gunner 
from Battlefield. I think in particular it's from Battlefield 4, one of the all-time goaded FPS games, but yeah, this guy looks so good. Brick Tactical did an amazing job with him. And then equally, the Battlefield Soviet heavy gunner here also just looks fantastic. I guess probably not Soviet. I think it's Russian because I, I, I think it's, yeah, modern day Russia instead of Soviet Russia. So either way, those two, I love those two minifigures. They go so well together. We do have a Soviet era, sort of like Chernobyl hazmat armor trooper and an alternate US hazmat armor trooper from the CDC there. Uh, it kind of looks like it's from a video game, but I'm not entirely sure what video game it's from. It doesn't look like any actual type of US hazmat troop, so I I'm guessing it's either his own creation or a video game, but those are both awesome. And that's actually it for my Brick Tactical stuff. But we do have more generic soldiers. Here is just another security force soldier. You can never have enough of those. This fella here came with a Battle Brick helicopter set as one of the pilots. He's super bland, so I do tend to use him as a pilot or tank driver, stuff like that. Something where he's just sort of sitting there and you can't see him too much. He gets relegated to the back of the collection. I do have a second CCT armor trooper, and uh, this one has the D&D &D, uh, new uh, dwarf face on her, so that's fun. As well as everyone's favorite government organization, the ATF, yes notoriously beloved by the American public. You know what really grinds my gears? You, America. And if you want someone else to keep you in line, call the military police. Oh, he's got a scout hair on him. Yuck. No, oh, get it off. Ah! Having a lot of pets makes it so everything has some sort of hair on it. <laughs> but yeah, really nice military police figure right there. And this is my last battle brick soldier of the video, a British standard trooper here. But it is not the last soldier of the video. We also have our boy Bob here who I feature in a lot of Daily Bricks videos. He comes with a very nice plated helmet there, which is just, you know, cool looking. And underneath, <laughs> he's got an uwu face, which you could buy on Brick Tactical. Stop it, get some help. Uh, as well as a uh, Brick Tactical cape here, and then just a standard Lego, kind of cool 50s looking criminal vibe to him, but I eh, just wanted to throw Bob in here, I like Bob. My final two units are Brick Mania Troopers. This is a US Army soldier right here. Again, the detailing is immaculate. But then one of my favorite Brick Mania troops has to be our last minifigure right here, the Brick Mania Navy Seal. He's got NVGs. My one complaint on this unit is his NVGs do not flip up. I think that would take him out of this world. It would look incredible but sadly they are just static, so you need to remove the helmet entirely if you wanna see his face. But other than that, the details on this are immaculate. It is such a cool looking minifigure. I pulled all of these dudes out for an upcoming Daily Bricks military video, so I thought I'd make a little sideshow video on this channel for you guys here to check out my current Lego Modern Army. I hope you enjoyed. Oh, I forgot about this dude right here. And I also forgot about this security force dude, but not really because this is actually going to be the giveaway trooper, a security dude I left off to the side from this video. All you gotta do is hit the like button, subscribe when notifications turned on, and comment down below what military division or branch or whatever you think would look the coolest in LEGO, whether it be the Navy SEALs, the Spetsnaz, you know, wh whoever. Just let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.